Central Grid Tutorials. This is the fourth video in our series on setting up a central grid for your WordPress platform. My name is Sarah Oates and I'm from Endure Web Studios and I'm excited because now we have set up a central grid and now we can get into some of the really fun stuff that you can do with the grid itself. So for this particular tutorial we're going to go through the navigation system. So there's some good filters that you can use with the central grid that make it a lot more practical for people. So I've got two examples for you here. One is using blog posts and one is using photos. So this one for the blog posts is, um, as you can see, there's a number of blog posts and this guy wanted a lot of filtering. So in this one, you can actually filter by say directing and writing and it will show everything that he has directed or written or maybe directing in advertising and then it'll just show up the advertising. Um, so that gives a lot of functionality for someone who's trying to display off, off a portfolio. The other example is over here for a photo gallery. So um, this is for a photographer. She wanted to have one portfolio rather than having a number of pages that one had weddings and one had whatever. Um, she decided to do it this way. And so this way you can click through and it will filter down anything that relates to the particular tags. And for this one we tagged them. Um, and gave them multiple tags so sometimes they, um, images might show up in multiple areas like families and children, um, they'll show up for example. So we're going to show you in the back end how to um, make this happen. Okay so let's head into the back end and um, see how I've done those settings. So what we're going to do is come in here, go to settings of the particular grid. So once you've got your whole grid set up, if you don't know how to do that feel free to go back to the last video. Um, then all you need to do is come into nav filter sort and this is where you can do a lot of those filtering systems. So the filtering relies on the fact that you've got a number of different categories. So if you've only got one category you're not going to be able to filter but if you have a number of categories or a number of tags then this will work really well. Alright so this is an example of how your grid sits and this is where you set it up. So if you've set it to have pagination what you need to do is actually drag and drop pagination in here so that then pagination will show up. If you don't drag it there, then there's nowhere for it to go. You can add sorting, which I would imagine you might do if you had a shop, for example. If you're doing your pagination, you might want to have your little arrows, and then you can also have search. So for this one, we've got two filters, and I'll just show you how that works. All right, so we've got filter one and filter two, and then as you come a little bit further down here, um, these filters are going to show up here. So ordinarily when you first come in it's just going to have one filter and then you click on this plus button and it's going to add a second filter. So we renamed these to choose and filter by. You can name them to anything that you want. Those names will turn up here. So essentially choose means show everything. So when you click on that um, it will show everything. I think initially it comes in as filter all and so you can leave that as it is if you want to. Then inline means that they'll go next to each other. So although these sit on the next lines, they're actually inline. So they're right next to each other. It's just that they roll over to the next line. Um, but you can have them on separate lines and um, you would do that just by click or, or you can have a drop down. Sorry. Okay, so if you change that to drop down and then we clicked save grid and came over here and refreshed. Sorry, inline was the wrong thing. Okay, so the drop down then is going to show you that there, whereas inline looks like this. So you can have it either way if you want to. So we'll just go back to inline. Um, the thing if you want to have it on two lines, which I was explaining before, is here. So you can just put that above there if you want to have them above each other or if you want to have them next to each other. Have it like that. And you can reorder them obviously. Okay, then you can choose if you want to show how many things are in those elements. So if we turn those on, um, I'll show you in a minute. And then you can select which ones are in it. So it's going to show all of the categories or the tags that you selected back here in source. They're all going to show up every time, but you just tick box which ones you want to actually show. So I've just tick boxed those and then you can reorder them. So if they're not in the right order, then you can move them around. You can select, we looked at this in the last video, but whether you want it descending or ascending in terms of date or, um, so there's lots of options there. And then when you click save, 
then here you go we'll refresh it so now the top one is showing how many live in those particular categories so it's pretty easy to add filtering um, you can just have one lot of filtering and you can also select how that filtering looks so this particular filtering this happens in the skins um, up here the navigation choose skin text light I don't understand why they've written it the way they do in my mind it's opposite to that so text light shows up like this I haven't done anything that's just how it looks text light but you can change it to say simple light and then we'll save it there's all sorts of filters that you can pick from and then you can use CSS to make it look um, different again so another variation of that is this one here so in this portfolio here you can see they all come there it's the inline it starts with the filter all we didn't bother changing that and it actually highlights the one that you're in as you go through it so this one just has a really simple one filter I'll show you what it looks like just so that you know and then that's it for our filtering so we're coming to the settings again go to nav filter so you can see here I've got pagination on this one and one filter and as you come down you can see my one filter filter all inline filter categories and not showing how many are in it um, these are some other settings that you can use so that you don't have to worry about um, CSS at all so we've got this is to do with these things up here so drop zone one means up here drop zone one drop zone two drop zone left right one two in the bottom so here you can tell it whether you want them to sit at the left or the right so if you're wanting to um, yeah for some reason have it right over on the right or give it some margin then you can do that it pulls in the five pixels that we did earlier in the settings um, and that's pretty much all you'll need to know oh the only other thing that you need to need to know um, for filtering is filter by single or multiple so um, this is the best example of that one so if we come over to the filter here we've said filter by multiple so what we're wanting to do is say it must be accurate in this one and it must be accurate in this one therefore so multiple and but if for some reason so I'll show you over here so if you click directing and you click documentary it means it has to be have the category of both documentary and directing or else it won't show up so if it only has directing it won't show up and if it only has documentary it won't show up but if you wanted it to show up so if they clicked on directing and documentary and you wanted everything that was directing and documentary then you would select or so then it's saying if it's this or this then definitely show it um, that's the only other thing that you need to know in this particular section so have fun with your filters I think that they add an extra level of class to um, particularly portfolios if people are wanting to show off different aspects of their work um, so have fun and hopefully you get some really good results from it in the next video we're going to be looking at how you can edit your skins to make them look um, however you would like them to look if they're one of the predefined settings isn't quite what you're looking for so check back in for the next video thanks bye